So that is what happens when you throw a grenade at the cube. It obviously doesn't like it, and it, and it punches you in the face. There's just one thing I... I think I, I know the course of the cube. So, it started at like... This, hold on, let me zoom in. It started at like this mountain, right? That's where... That's where the lightning struck, or and the cube was formed. Then it, then it moved to like right here. Then it's like right here. Here's one thing though. I was in a um, playground with my friend, and lightning struck. I think this mountain. So I think the cube is on a course for this mountain. I think at least. I could be wrong. But that's, that. it looks like that's where it's heading. And there's another thing. There's no more purple rift in the sky. In fact, there's no more rifts in the sky at all. Everything seems back to normal except this gigantic purple cube. And there's another thing. If you stand near it long enough, it gives you shield. If you stand near near it, it gives you shield. However, if you throw grenades at it, it hurts you. That is what I don't get. Those are making that sound weird. I haven't seen the cube move actually, but I know it does move because just yesterday, or a few, uh, I don't know. I know it was over there. And I know it's on the mountain. And I know there was a purple rift in the sky. But what happens when this cube reaches its destination? What's inside it? Who knows? But one thing I do know. Sorry, he's in touch back. This cube is extremely bouncy. When you bounce on it, it acts like a bounce pad. Also, whenever anything hits it, it's like this shock wave comes out of it. Hey, well, that's just what I'm thinking of what the purple cube's gonna do. You can say your thoughts. Goodbye.